Hi, it's Christian here. Welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Today I have uh, come up with this one. Let's see if I can make it. There we go. A little fishy. Haven't come up with a name yet for this one, but I uh, tied it last night and I thought it looked nice. And the reason for this fly is because I got some new materials. I tested them and it ends up in this one, which I like. I'm going to tie it for you as well. Uh, first of all, the materials, of course. The hook I'm using is the Avex uh, traditional shrimp in its 156 size 8 this time. Something new. And the um, craft fur, the grizzly one, favorite of mine. And now comes some of the new stuff. It tends to get me to the vice when I get some new stuff. And uh, this time I got some of this. Ikuna dubbing. So a pack of dubbing is really nice. And this one is called Hair's Ear Sub UV. Has a nice color to it and have a little bit of blue UV, uh, UV uh, material going on. It's really nice. So I had to try this one, one of course. Uh, the eyes is uh, the ones I'm usually uh, the ones I'm usually uh, using the living living eyes from fish skull and this is the ice ones four millimeter and uh, I'm gonna top it all off it off with some uh, rate up in various uh, models and viscosities and colors and shit it's really nice and I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, pearl uh, flat braid towards the, the end of the the tail and then some other new stuff I tried uh, yeah last night is this one uh, of course it's a new bobbin this one is from Ray Tap which is nice you can change the head and all it's uh, really nice and the camo color is just cool looking in my opinion but uh, also the the fret the fret is new for, to me uh, it's the the Vivis um, Power fret, it's called. And I'm usually using uh, these ones, the Vivas uh, GSP. But then I got a hold of a few uh, black and white one and this one, the Power fret. Uh, I had to test it, of course. It's very strong still, uh, and not as slippery as the as the GSP. And it's also flat on the hook, which I like, so it doesn't fill up with a lot of uh, fret on the. On your shank so uh, and it's also easy to dub so yeah and I, I found out that it comes in different colors as well so I guess I can <laughs> I need to do some shopping uh, one of these days to get all the colors there aren't that many colors of it but still it was some that looked really nice so this, this is this is with a new uh, power fret from from Beavis I'm gonna try this time Let's see how that works. So, let's get tying for this little goby fish bait fish thingy with no name yet. It's not, not very hard and uh, yeah, it looks very promising. Here we go. Here we go. So, it's this one we're going for. It's a little fishy. And uh, the hook was the uh, traditional shrimp hook from uh, from Arex in size 6 I just put my power thread Vivis white power thread here on the on the shank of the hook and I'm st going to start by taking some uh, craft fur in grizzly color to form a little tail so I'm going to take a little bunch of uh, of this that's a great material in my opinion Just uh, get rid of all this. You can call it fur, but uh, whatever it's made of. So just uh, form a little tail on our little fishy here. And when you're satisfied with the length, don't want it too long. I'm just gonna my finger it in between my. 
Weird. Like this. And this stuff. It is good enough. I'm gonna go tie that in just for volume. A little more than. So it stays where it's supposed. Like that. This is quite fast, this one. And I'm gonna go back again. So, there we go. Then it's time for this one. The Lagerton Pearl uh, Rib. This is a really, really nice green shine to it. Take a piece of that. Tie that in. Forward with my right? Then I'm just gonna make a little pearly green butt here with this uh, this rib like this. There we go. Again, I don't want my butt to be too big. Who wants that? A big butt. Um, then I'm gonna take a, a little bit of red tap and put that on top of my top of my pearly rib here because that really makes it shine. See, just a thin layer. Smear it out with your finger. really brings out the color you just set it go then it is time for a dubbing loop I was testing yesterday last night testing uh, this new thread and how, is, how it was in dubbing loops and how it was with the, the materials and all. And I uh, wanted to test the, the dubbing as well, the uh, Kuna dubbing as well, uh, both uh, as uh, just dubbing it on the fret and in a dubbing loop. So last night I put it in a loop. I'm going to do that again today and I'm just going to apply a bit of wax on the fret. I don't know if it's necessary anymore to be honest. I used to apply used to apply a bit of wax on the thread when I'm using the the GSP one. It makes it a little bit easier. GSP thread is really really strong, but also really really slippery. Then find this stuff. The the Kuna dubbing hairs ear sub UV. That's also a great name. Take a little bunch and make a little roll or sausage roll here of, of dubbing. I don't want to go overboard and I want to make sure I have an even layer. So it's not bulky one place and thin another. But try to even it out there. The dubbing so I get a like this. I'm just gonna swoop this into the into the loop. I like using dubbing loops to be honest because in my opinion in my opinion it makes the the fly more durable. Dubbing is gonna stay there even after the small fishy I used to. I often catch, uh, I've eaten the fly several times. 
Now it's time to twist. Like this. See? And uh, I'm just gonna comb it out a bit with my not a bit actually, I'm trying to give it a good trying to give it a good beating so get all the fibers out. Like, like so. It's a great color this one. Like this. Uh, and then it's just a matter of slowly moving forward while this one. There we go. While uh, putting back on the material. Close wraps and um, I'm gonna be sure not to go too far, too close to the eye. I think that's enough. Got almost a centimeter or so up until the eye. Let's see if that's enough. Yeah, I guess that'll do. I'm just gonna finish here. And just make sure it stays. See? A nice little body you got there. And then what's left for me is some um, some uh, craft fur in a loop and a set of eyes. And then you're done. It's that easy, folks. So I'm gonna start by making another dubbing loop, just a small one this time because I don't want to have much craft uh, because I don't want this fly to be too bulky and uh, I want to keep it transparent and light and yeah. So that's the plan for this one. Okay, so I've taken a, my clip and put in just in advance, not so I don't bore you, um, put in some craft fur in my pen. I'm gonna put that in my in my loop here. in there I want to get rid of some of the excess brown stuff there we go Go. And then I'm just gonna get a little, a little needle here. I think this is one of my my favorite tools. This one, this blue, uh, this blue needle. It's really nice for getting out materials and stuff. See, now I got a lot of. Uh, Quite short uh, craft fur in my loop, and not very much of it. And I'm, and I'm not even gonna use all of this. I'm just gonna take a wrap or two around the shank, and then that's it. So let's see. First one was here. We go. I'm gonna pull it backwards while I take one. Second one. Yeah. I think there's gonna be one and a half on this one because I still want it 
to be What happens? It's almost a sandstorm now, isn't it? That's not supposed to happen. Let's go back once again. Fuck it. Oh, sorry for the swearing. Don't want to be tying a sandstorm, even though that's a really nice pattern as well. But I want it, still want it to be uh, to be transparent, so I can see the green stuff and. Uh, Stopping underneath. Like this. I'm just gonna get rid of this excess material and make sure it sticks. Then I'm gonna build a. You see, I got a little bit, bit more of the. I'm just gonna moisten a bit. Um, a little bit more of the. Craft for this one than the one I showed you in the beginning. Don't think it matters that much, it has a nice shape to it. And I'm just gonna build up, as you see up here, a little bit of a. Bump of thread here because I want to have something to attach the eyes, and that's easier if there's actually something to attach it to. So that is why. But I think that is enough. I'm just gonna finish. just in in my face there we go Ooh, I like it I like it a lot okay then it is time for the living eyes like they come in all kinds of colors I highly recommend this ones <clears throat> because they're just so nice In the fiery yellow one and the brownish one. I'm gonna go with the icy cold one just because I'm in the mood for that. Um, I'm gonna take a bit of uh, red sap, of course, UV resin here, and apply a, a small drop of that here on my. My thread. There we go. I'm gonna take my needle. I'm gonna take some of the the red base red red set because that's good for making the making the gills yeah, or whatever. Down here. Just a little drop. And at the very end a layer of you just get those eyes sparkling. Fishy, I haven't come up with a name yet. We'll call it maybe. Maybe 
the same storm light on the uh, fishy just because I wanted to try the new thread and the, the new uh, the Kuna dubbing it ended up in this one I think it looks nice can be nice in the water very transparent and lifelike you know I think so it's definitely gonna have a have a go next time I visit the fjord so uh, feel free to leave a comment and a like and even a subscribe for more content and I will see you next time bye bye